And welcome back to a pre-recorded two would win. Uh, we are still, in, we are obviously still in a week of a win. It's only Tuesday. Uh, and this one comes to us from a combination of Dion H and Aaron, uh, oh God, uh, Aaron, uh, is it Aaron Mad Dog O'Reilly who gave me this one as well? Uh, yes, I believe it was Aaron Mad Dog O'Reilly. Uh, who asked the question, who would win in the fight? Shucky, uh, the killer, the killer doll, or Pennywise, the dancing clown. Um, Pennywise, I have done so many times on this cha channel, I'm like, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, Chucky, I've done a couple times, so, I mean, I know them both. Uh, Chucky was a, I actually don't remember his, uh, human name, like, the name he had when he was human. But, uh, Chucky is, uh, was a killer uh, who got, was mortally wounded in a, um, uh, you know, in, in, at least in the original movie, detective was going to kill, get him. He was wounded. He, but knowing voodoo, he inserted his soul into a Mr. Good Guy doll. Uh, and as such, he kept coming back and, um, figuring out a way to keep surviving. We're not using the reboot Chucky because that's, that's a robot. Uh, but as such, he has all the powers of a doll, which is not impressive. That's, to be fair. To be fair, Chucky's actually, because he's a doll, and if no one knows he's alive, he, uh, it actually makes for a pretty good um, cover. He can just kind of look around, stealth if he needs to, hide in plain sight. Um, he's also surprisingly quick on his feet and stealthy. Uh, he's not really that strong, all things, con all things considered. Like, he can't lift something that, like, some of my size could, like, he couldn't lift a sledge. But he's still pretty smart and capable of saying traps and knees. So usually he wields either a large knife uh, or uh, anything that's really available to him to use. Uh, Chucky, though, his main abilities, though, came comes from, surprisingly, his durability. It's actually surprisingly hard to put this guy down. Uh, because he's... What's the best way to put it? it one of the things that... Uh, one of the things that was stated that the longer he stays in that body, the more it becomes, he becomes a puppet, but for some reason he's, you know, he bleeds and all that. So I think it's, I think it's more that his human soul and the puppet body are merging together to create basically a living puppet body for him. So that's why he bleeds. That's why he feels pain and all that. My theory anyway. So take that into consideration, even though he bleeds to feel pain, it's still extremely hard to put him there. He's been, uh, he's literally had his limbs blown off. He has literally been burned to cinders. He has, he's been nothing but a head and still survived. You kind of have to really, first off, the head's probably the way to go to kill him. Uh, but you really kind of have to make sure he's all destroyed. Uh, because his other great strength is his ability of witchcraft, well, witchcraft, voodoo, um, and his ability to uh, move his soul, and actually in, I think, the last movie, the last, like, canon series Chucky movie, if you will, um, <clears throat> to basically fragment his soul into different, uh, bodies. That's how he was able to, uh, possess so many different Chuckies in the cult of Chucky, and then possess the, uh, like, the main woman in, um, in that movie. Spoilers. So, it is actually a very interesting ability he has to move his soul around and move other souls. We're going to play hide the soul. Um, <laughs> so, he he isn't um, he isn't without his strengths. Uh, but again, long at the end of the day, he's still a freaking doll. Um, he's not physically stronger than even your average guy. Uh, so he's, he's pretty easy to put down when you really want to put him down. Uh, Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Okay, uh, Cliff Note version. In the Stephen King universe, there is our universe, and then there is the Macroverse, which exists beyond our universe. But think of it kind of like a, like a shell. Uh, layers, if you will. The outer layer is the Macroverse, and that is where Pennywise is from. Pennywise's species is known as, I believe, Glimmers. He is a species of individuals. Pennywise, power-wise, is not the top dog in his universe, but he is very high on the totem pole. There are a couple individuals stronger than him, though. Uh, I believe it's the Crimson King and uh, is stronger than him and could legitimately kill Pennywise. And Maturin is, at minimum, his equal. So, Pennywise, though, his actual, sp his actual appearance in form and body, it's not really known, but it's believed to be the Deadlights. Um, though, I can't remember which one it was. Eddie? saw into the deadlights and saw kind of this hairy orange mass of hair and teeth or something like that. 
that was the closest like he could uh, really look and see the true uh, form of Pennywise. Otherwise, the spider is the closest our minds can comprehend it. Uh, the spider form he took. Pennywise, though, is kind of an eldritch being. He is a shapeshifter. Technically, it's believed that Pennywise is actually a woman or a uh, she because it was um, laying eggs. Uh, and when it was in spider form in the second book. But more importantly, uh, Pennywise is bound by the physical form it takes. Like Pennywise's preferred form is Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Pennywise isn't even the thing's real name. Uh, whatever its real name is, it's not Pennywise. But Pennywise is the form it likes to take. So it like because the clowns are scary, it can it, it can transform and shapeshift into anything that scares you or anything it wants to. It's telekinetic. It's reality warping. It can cast illusions. It is psychic because it can basically. It doesn't even need to, you to know, or for you to, it doesn't even need you to tell it what its fear is. It can just tell you, or it can just, um, gleam what your fear is and turn into that fear to scare you. Uh, it's, and Pennywise also shouldn't, we should note, can well kill you, even if it's not, even if you're not afraid of it. Uh, it just likes fear better because fear is essentially like salting the meat for us. It would still eat us even if we weren't afraid. It just prefers the fear. Um, so Pennywise is immensely powerful, but also immensely flawed in some ways, because A, it's bound by the physical limitations of the form it takes. So when in the form of Pennywise the Dancing Clown, while it's certainly stronger than, say, your average person, uh, it's still bound by the physical laws of that body, of the body of the clown. So it can't really, it can't fly, for instance, unless it decides to grow wings. It can't, uh, it can't fly, it can't float if he wants to. But, um... If you hit it with like a crowbar and you know you you he's weakened, it's gonna hurt. Uh, Pennywise Pennywise is limited in some regards. Furthermore, if you are brave enough to overcome your fear of it, uh, it's sort of basically like a dominance over it, or just not afraid of it to begin with. It, it's not we it's not completely powerless, but the more that you don't show fear to it, the weaker it becomes. A lot, it feeds off your fear. Its power comes from uh, your fear of it. So without, um, without being able to be afraid of it, it does weaken. Now, and I know someone's going to comment it in the book, so I got to bring it up. The ritual of Chud in the books was theoretically the only way you could be Pennywise. Let's be clear, though. That's in the books. You take a character out of their universe put them against a character from a completely separate universe, you are now dealing with a completely different circumstance. Example, and I believe this Who Would Win will come up at some point. If I put Pennywise, as powerful as Pennywise is, against Darkseid from D the DC Universe, Darkseid is going to make a complete clown, no pun intended, out of Pennywise. Like, Pennywise would not be able to go against Darkseid at all. Not even close. And let's be clear, too. Just because the Ritual of Chud was the only one that worked in that universe does not mean if I put him against... I Who have I not put him against in terms of the... I think I've actually put him against every major slasher now. Except for, I think, Leatherface. But, um, like, when I did... A little spoiler for that video. When I put him against someone like Freddy or Jason or Michael, it's, it's difficult to really say how Pennywise's abilities work against them because they're very different individuals. There's a lot of supernatural elements in Pennywise's universe, but the specific type of supernatural entities that those characters are are not the same kind of thing that those characters normally deal with. So it's very, it's a very weird circumstance. Very weird circumstance. And as we know in the Stephen King universe as well, the Ritual of Chill was the way we as humans could beat him. Probably not the only way, but it was the only way they ever showed in the in the book. But we, I already established that there are individuals already stronger than Pennywise in the Stephen King universe. So they could, and that could kill Pennywise with just their own power. <laughs> anyway, so how would this fight break down? Um, uh, I'm, I, it's, not, it's not the fight itself that breaks down, it's how setting up the fight breaks down. I didn't really consider how these two would even meet. Let's assume that Andy, a new Andy, uh, is... And Derry, Maine. He moved there to get away from Chucky, but Chucky found him. And there's Mr. Good Guy Dolls in Derry, Maine, and it happens to be the time period where Pennywise is awake and eating kids. And you know, he Andy becomes friends with the Losers Club. They get targeted. Uh, but at one point, when Pennywise is about to eat, like maybe Miss, maybe Chucky is in the room. Like 
staying still and stuff like that, like engaging the situation. And Pennywise is about to, you know, has got him cornered. And they're all like, uh, God, what's wrong there, Dandy? Don't you want to play with the clown? <laughs> and now, and he's like, oh, crap, this guy's going to kill Andy. I need Andy. I need him. It's like, and it's like, uh, you know, he, may, he actually takes the knife he's hiding and actually throws it at Pennywise, who does get hit. But he's like, oh, he's like, he's like, Ugh. Like, all right, look, uh, all right, no more, Mr. Good Guy. I don't know what your deal is, clown, but Andy's mine. Uh, it's like, what? Chucky! It's like, don't get any wrong, I don't get the wrong idea, Andy. As soon as they take care of this clown, you and me are going to have a hell of a time. And I, it sounds like I'm kind of doing a weird Clint Eastwood voice, you or Jack Nicholson voice, but that's kind of how, uh, was it not Stephen Dorff? Um, oh, God, Brad Dorff. Brad Dorf did the did the Chucky voice. No more, Mister Good Nice Guy or Good Guy. He did, kind of did a Jack Nicholson impression at the point. Um, so that's kind of how I do my Chucky. Uh, yeah, so, but get out. You can get out of here from now, and you and me will dance later. So, so Mister Pennywise, the dancing fuckwad, you want you're trying to get my body. That's my body. You can you can just f off right now. <laughs> I was like. Ugh. Chucking doll, what are you? No, you're not human. You're, but, you're, you're, but you're not a doll, toy either. Interesting. But I don't have time to play with you, Mr. Doll. Uh, the name's Chucky. The name's Chucky. Learn it, bo Bozo, because you're because uh, the last uh, little trick you're going to be uh, playing this Halloween is the trick of my knife and how it got in your throat. And then he just, he, he just kind of jumps on. Because I've seen Chucky just jump on people. Or he just grabs the car. Like, oh, get you know. and then, but here's the thing. He hasn't seen Pennywise. He's just seen Pennywise as kind of like a scary clown. He hasn't seen Pennywise do anything weird. He's like, get off me. <laughs> And just kind of like goes completely like berserk and just makes transfers. Like, and he just like, What the fuck are you? And then just stabs him in the mouth. Like, ah, what the fuck are you? And then just first checking, checking gets up. Like, well, let's go there, but come on. Oh, come on, sideshow Bob. Let's see what you got. And they kind of go at each other for a little bit. And I think it would just be funny as hell. Because let's be fair, Chucky doesn't deal with supernatural outside of the stuff he does. So. I do think he'd be thrown for a loop by what the hell he's dealing with. I don't think he'd be very scared, though. Because he's a doll. Uh, so he doesn't really care. And besides, like I said, even though Andy's the body he wants in this uh, scenario, he does know how to place, uh, separate his soul out into different uh, you know, parts. So all of a sudden, because well, he was probably prepared for Andy. Pennywise gets grabbed and he's like, well, you think you're going somewhere? Like, you're not going nowhere. Like a bunch of chickens, get off of me. It's like, oh, what's the matter? The clown losing his cool. And all of a sudden, he, all, all of a sudden, he, it's just like, and he just kind of does the werewolf transformation, gets the, like the bug, uh, like the, the spider claws there, and just starts ripping the Chuckies apart. It's like, I've had enough of you. And then all of a sudden, he just goes full deadlight on Chucky. Now, that's the big question here. Does Chucky still get affected by the deadlights? <sighs> Physically, no. He shouldn't be affected because he no longer has a human body. However, the deadlights aren't affecting the human body, they're affecting the human brain. And while he's still technically got, I mean, theoretically, he still has organs, I guess, because of the way the, his body now works. Um, so, and for all of his abilities, for all of his supernatural voodoo abilities, Chucky's mind is still that of a, hu a, a psychotic human who kills people, mind you, but a human nonetheless. So, yeah, that would more than likely work. And the mid-chuck, he's like, uh, what, what's going, uh, I just kind of, yeah. and like, what the hell did he do? What did you do? I just start uh, like staring the deadlights at everyone. Just, I, uh, and they all just kind of flop down dead. Uh, and then he goes along his way to kind of get Andy and the kids, and they ultimately beat him with the ritual of Chud and all that goodness, and the, minus the kid orgy. What were you thinking, gang? Uh, like, seriously, how much coke were you doing back in the 80s? Was it the 80s you brought that out? Yeah, it was the 80s you brought that book out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, how much coke were you doing that you did that? Huh. Um, anyway, so why does Chucky lose this fight? Well, Ch I mean, because Chucky's a doll. He shouldn't be subject to the limits of human, human nature, necessarily. He's a psychopath, so his mind doesn't quite work the same way. 
Uh, and he can split his soul, and he's probably not going to show that much fear of Pennywise, so it should weaken Pennywise's abilities over him. But that's the problem. Weakening and completely eliminating are two different things. Pennywise, even just limited in the form of the clown, is physically more capable than Chucky is. He's also not going to be hurt that easily. Like, when the kid, let's just go with the movie for a second. When the kids put that, um, fence spike, um, that, um, yeah, it was, I, I don't know what you would call it. That, the, the, basically, it was the part of the fence that fell off. It was basically like a giant, like, um, spike, but you're, it's like, almost like a spear. Spear that through Pennywise's head. That hurt Pennywise. That, like, that did hurt him because they, like, they, um, overcame their fear temporarily over him. So, it's, it's one of those things where, yeah, it can work, but Pennywise wasn't, uh, like, it, the, when he chucking through the knife in Pennywise's head, they were still afraid of Pennywise, so Pennywise was still boosted by that fear, and while Chucky's lack of fear would be a benefit, he would still be taken by surprise by the fact that this is not human. Whatever he's fighting is not human, and he's not used to fighting against things that aren't human. So, while he might not be afraid, because he's, he's, he's resilient, and he's got the voodoo ability, so it's not like he hasn't seen magic before, or supernatural abilities before, Pennywise would be something he's not used to dealing with. So, he would definitely be thrown a little bit for loop. Maybe not scared, but definitely surprised. Pennywise would definitely capitalize on that surprise and, you know, try to, you know, kill Chucky. Uh, and ultimately, the problem I saw with this uh, matchup in the long term, even if you got, like, a bunch of Chucky's just trying to get on top of him, is the fact that Chucky, for all, when you actually break it down, this is the weird thing, Chucky, for the fact he's in a doll's body, is still a human in terms of his mentality. He's He still thinks like a human. Again, a psychopath, but he still thinks like a human. Um, don't be careful of the, be careful of the, shit, the stuff on the floor, Papa. Oh, good puppy. You walked around it. Um, and so, yeah, I um, I did a little home trick. I put some shaving cream on the floor to see if I can soak up some stains. And like, I'm, is she going to walk through it? No, she saw it and did not walk through it. Good girl. <laughs> um. So, ultimately, I, I he, he would be affected by the deadlights, is my ultimate um, consensus on that. And once the deadlights come to play... See, that's the big thing with a lot of these fights when it comes to Pennywise. Do the deadlights work on his opponent? If they don't, Pennywise actually has a problem. If they do, Pennywise is probably going to be okay. Assuming that you're not dealing with someone who's smart enough to just avoid those. Or, you know, or, or has a mentality that uh, even if it would affect them, wouldn't kill them. Either way, my money goes on Pennywise, the dancing clown, but who do you got in this fight? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. I just heard win, Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if, anything to do in the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later. Later.